Hey everybody, it's Dave, BlueJacket66, here for another video. And in this video, I wanted to show you a card um, because I think it's important in many ways. It's a important baseball player. It's an important part of history. It's an important baseball card, and the story behind it, I think, is really uh, interesting. This card comes from what I would call <laughs> Deep Within My Black Vault, where I've... Uh, large collection of cards that I have really am no interest in showing to anybody, to be honest with you. But I wanted to show this one because uh, I had kind of a sister card of it in one of my most recent videos, and it got me thinking about the card, and I wanted to get it reholdered. So I sent it to SGC and got it reholdered. It was a door to back to me in uh, six days, SGC first class act. Um, so I think you guys know what I collect and you know some of my Jackie Robinson cards. Uh, and I'm wondering if you might not know what this card is, but I think more importantly than showing the card, uh, which is one of those cards that, uh, there's a few of my, in my collection that you have seen that I will mention now that just make me I just am so proud and just makes me tremble to hold them like the the 68 test issue uh, Clemente the 3D uh, my type 2 coupon red Cobb which is the highest graded my uh, uh, Oxford confectionery Ruth card and this falls in with it that I am just uh, very very proud to have this card and have it and it's rare and really found in usually authentic or very very low grade and I have one of the highest grades of it I think so uh, what do you think we might as well just uh, take a look at it before it goes uh, back in the vault I'm doing this in a little bit of segments rather than just doing it all the way through because I don't want to miss anything and if I get a 30 minute video and I'm trying to uh, uh, put some visuals up it just becomes too hard for me so I'm going to kind of do it in uh, uh, segments here so I'll be re stopping and starting the video but uh, you know I have a pretty good Jackie Robinson collection um, kind of base issue stuff I if you ask me what my favorite card is besides the one I'm going to show I think it would be the 49 Bowman uh, Jackie. I really, really love that card. I have a couple of them, one part of my set, one, actually they're both part of this, this set. Uh, and uh, I think it's a fantastic image, the color, the uh, uh, coloration of what would normally be a black and white photo is just uh, fantastic. Uh, the 49 Leaf uh, I like as well, not as much as the 49 Bowman. I love my copy of it. And uh, could it be my greatest Jackie Robinson card? Maybe. Um, I have some other issues. Uh, the blue tint Jackie uh, is, I think, exceptionally scarce. Uh, kind of an odd ball type of issue that uh, I'm glad I got when I, when I did. Um, everybody, I think, loves the 52 tops Jackie Robinson bright red you know it's a 52 tops it's a it's a fantastic image uh, one of my favorites of that i own is the 50 bowman in the psa 7 um i don't know it just doesn't get any better than that and i think i've shown that somewhat recently in one of my uh, videos where i'm kind of trying to catalog things a little bit so uh, all of those are great cards but um when it comes to my greatest card, I none of them, in my opinion, hold a candle to the card I'm going to show. And uh, the reason it's important to me is uh, it's his earliest card. I don't really consider it a rookie card, and I've said that before when I've done prior videos. For be a rookie card, I think it should be a national issue, which this card is not. Um, but when we show the card, I want to do kind of a semi-deep dive 
into the issue because I think it's greatly misunderstood and people think that they have cards from this issue when in the deed they do not. Um, eBay is littered with uh, examples from this issue that are simply not uh, what they say. Uh, and a lot of times they're not what the third party grader says they are. Um, so we're going to go over this, uh, which is probably my favorite part of this video, and I'll go slow on it, hopefully show some visuals, um, because it's a greatly misunderstood and misrepresented uh, issue. But what I'm about to show you, I'm exceedingly proud of. I, I will probably not show it again. I, I don't know. But um, let's get it over with. We'll take a look. And then we'll do the fun part of kind of getting into this issue and figuring out what the hell's going on with it. Um, this is the type of video I like to make. I don't make them often enough, but I've been trying to make more and more of them that talk about things and some education. I've said it before, I am not the uh, final say on any particular issue that I talk about. I'm merely trying to represent it the best I can. Uh, these. Uh, the research on these cards and the knowledge of these cards and the early collection, uh, collections and collectors of these cards go back decades into the 40s, 50s, 60s. And uh, I think it's important that we pass on the knowledge because there's new people coming into the hobby and nothing flips me out more and I can't understand it is I'll show something and someone will say they've never seen that before. I beg you to get a standard catalog of vintage baseball cards, please. If you have any interest in vintage cards at all, if, if you don't own that, then you're really not serious about vintage cards. Uh, so do that. Um, that way, cards that you see on other channels, if you haven't seen them before, uh, you can look them up and uh, then Google search them and then do net 54 searches on them and you'll become uh, quite the expert yourself. So let's take a look at this gem. Then we're going to talk about the issue. Well, let's just get to it. This, um, really can't wait to talk about why this is misunderstood and why people think they've had this card or ones like it when in actually they don't. But this is the king, the king Jackie of my collection. Exceedingly rare and in this condition, crazy. The 1947 Bond bread, Jackie Robinson. You can see how the corners are rounded and beveled. These are the ones that were in the bread. Bond bread, uh, you know, I used to think of it, it's kind of regional. But in actuality, there are bond bread factories like in 18 states. Uh, I think over 50 factories. I used to think of it mainly as a Washington, D.C. issue in Brooklyn, in Philadelphia. But in fact, they had factories uh, in New Orleans, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, and as far west as Kansas City. And this is a set of 48 cards, which 44 of them were baseball players. Four were boxers, including Ray LaMotta and Joe Lewis. I can't remember who the other two boxers were. And a host of fantastic baseball players. There's a Duke Snyder. There's a Ted Williams. There's a Joe DiMaggio. There's a Stan Musial. These, and this is key. Bright white cream back, no markings on it. And I think if you look at the back, you get a little better idea of those rounded corners. Unlike those square corners that, as we will see, are not Bond bread cards and not from 1947. So yeah, I had this old holder I'd got that Barra out that I showed a couple videos ago, and I thought, you know, I should get the Jackie reholdered, and it looks fantastic. And this is a, 
Well, there's only one way to put it. This is a big time card. The 1947 Bond Bread, Jackie Robinson, in loaves of Bond Bread. And sorry about the glare, but in Bond Bread in 1947. I'll just look at it for a second more, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Bond Bread issue and those issues that claim to be bond bread or that you e bears say are bond bread or third party graders say are bond bed, bread exhibits, etc. And indeed they're not. This these round beveled corners are the only in the bread package bond bread cards. So the 1947. Bond Bread, Jackie Robinson. And I've got some good Jackies, but this is the king of the collection. Okay, I was just thinking I'd feel kind of bad about the people that stump upon my channel. And all they want to do is look at a Jackie Robinson card instead. they got a guy just going on and on eight minutes before he showed your Jackie. Now you're talking about all this gobbledygook, but uh, this is uh, cool information, I think. So if you just wanted to see the card, uh, carry on. So what about this Bond Bread issue? Here is the Bond Bread issue. 1947, beveled edges, white back Jackie. Again, there was 48 players uh, or sports stars with uh, 44 of them being baseball. But what about these others that you see that say Bond Bread cards or Bond Bread exhibits? Uh, well, they're not Bond Bread cards and they're not from 1947. And uh, there's, this is pretty interesting, in my opinion. So there are three other pictures like these because these, this image is from the 1947 uh, baseball stadium player packs or from the stadium pack, picture packs. That's where these pictures are from, from the Bond Brad and from these other issues. So the first, uh, a lot of times third-party graders will identify as Bond Bread or Bond Bread Exhibits are actually those square cornered, a little bit larger cards that are from sports star subjects. Here's a box, there's four boxes, 12 cards in each box, 48 images. Those cards are not Bond Bread cards. They have sharp corners, they are a little bit wider, I believe, but they're the similar picture. And importantly, they too have a creamy white back. And that's important. Um, they had same players, but they were not in Bond Bread. They were released in 1949 and 1950 in these packs of sports star subjects. And there's all sorts of controversy of whether they were from a different company or where they were leftover bond breads that they did not cut into the into the rounded or beveled corners and they were just put in these packs can't say but what we do know is they were not in bond bread they're not bond bread cards they're in these uh, sports sport card subject packs and they're not bond bread cards so if you have one of those you don't have a bond bread card you have a sport star subjects however you have to be careful because there is another issue that looks just like those 1949 square corner sports star subject cards. And those are called the David Fessberg warehouse find cards. And they look exactly like the sports star subjects cards, except there's a little bit, there's not really gla gloss on the front. And more importantly, the back is not that creamy, uh, very white back. It's a duller back, if not tan, if not a little bit toward the gray side. Those were supposedly in a warehouse find, a huge amount of them. This David Fessberg used to sell them uh, by the set. They were only 24 cards in that set, 22 of them baseball players, I think. Um, but there were only 24 cards 
and he sold them by the set in Sports Collector's Digest in the early 80s after supposedly into the 90s after a supposed warehouse find that I have never found any information that anybody knows about that had ever seen them before. And the idea was, oh, these are early Bond bread cards, actually sport uh, star cards, uh, that was a warehouse found, find. But that's just, that's just not true. Um, the backs are different. They don't have the gloss. And in my book, they are reproductions. So if you have one of those, I, I you see them on eBay, and they there's people list them as Bond bread cards. They're not. They're these... Reproduce, reproduced David Fessberg find cards uh, that in my book are worth a couple bucks a piece. So I really feel bad that you can just see eBay and you can just see these things and uh, there's no value to them. They're not only they're not Bond bread, they're not the 1949 uh, square corner uh, issues either. They're reproductions. So let's look at some of these. Um, Here's an example of uh, the two different backs. Here's you know a typical Bond bread musual with the back. And see how it's beveled corners, nice whack back. Here is a um, 1949 Sport Star Subjects card with Phil Rosito. See, it's got sharp corners and the nice white back that's the 1949 sports star subjects card that's not a bond bread and last not not leastly that's not a thing leastly the 1980s Fessberg find uh, card here's a usual as you can see look at the back of that not that white it's got sharp corners it's it's a reproduced card Interestingly, another one are these perforated cards. Um, they're not Bond bread either. I can't remember. They're made by a company by like Elast or Estelle or something like that. Uh, but I think they have blank backs or they have dual backs. Uh, they're perforated because they're off a sheet. Here's a picture of this sheet. Uh, and uh, there's a mixture of sports stars and, and celebrities and cowboys. Uh, and I don't know how they were distributed, but they're not Bond bread. They're not even close, but they share the images with those uh, uh, stadium pack picks. Uh, here's a picture of a Rizzuto. It's not Bond bread. And uh, the back of it is a, uh, a starlet. So those cards a lot of times are identified as Bond bread. The only Bond bread. The only true Bond bread is my Jackie that I showed you, and I've showed you a Musual on here that have the beveled corners, and the white back, and I would get one graded because, you know, people can reproduce anything or get scissors and cut things. I'd never buy anything raw. Uh, this, the uh, Sports Star Subjects ones have a white, very white back, square corners. They're not Bond bread. Are they cool cards? Yeah. Produced in 1949 to 19. 50. Uh, the David Fessberg find, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I, I think it, they're just reproduced cards. I mean, they were found in the 80s and someone distributed them and that's the way it goes. Uh, don't fall for those. Don't buy those. Um, if you pay more than a few bucks, in my opinion, they're, they're uh, 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 wasteful. Uh, the perforated ones, I think, are interesting. I don't own one, but I do think they're... Uh, interesting. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you learned something. Let's just recap real quick. I've said it over and over again, but well, it's a long video as it is. The 1947 Bond bread set of 48, 44 baseball players, four boxers, beveled corners, released, packed in with bread, white back. Try to get one graded if you can get one. A lot of cool players on it. Then there is the 1949 and 1950 sport star subjects cards. Sharp corners. They too have the white back and have a little bit of gloss on them. Neat cards, not bond bread. Next 
are those perforated cards that came in sheets, oftentimes paired on the back with a cowboy or starlet or movie star. Not Bond bread. Cool. Yep. Period. Probably early 1950s or so. And last but not least, don't get fooled by one of these. These square cornered, they call them Bond bread. They're not. They're reproduced in the 1980s and aren't good. So there you have it. I gotta show it one more time. Love it. 1947 Bond bread in an SGC7. I'm a food and beverage collector, so it's right up my alley. Some of you may have suspected that this is I'm, what I was going to show, uh, but this is a Bond bread card and you don't see Jackie in this condition ever. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was long, it was long, and you got to see a card for about two minutes, and the rest was me uh, yapping, but think about those bond bread issues, and think about now what you're seeing in auctions and seeing on eBay, and hope you have a edu little education of what you're really buying out there. So have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.